Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm looking at this Yokan X N Y X. I thought these were old. Uh, I guess they were at one time, but they're still selling today. And uh, Adam at LVS gave me uh, gave me one to do a little review on. So I was, uh, I was saying to myself, I'm I think I'm ready for a, a puff. So I'll do a video. But uh, then while I was doing that, I was sticking around and I picked up one of my vapes that I haven't used for a while. I think it was the Loaded. And uh, had a couple hits of some full spectrum TC THCA that uh, it hit me pretty hard. <laughs> it's a, It certainly did its job. A couple long fulls of that. And I was... I debated whether I was going to do that and then sat here for about half an hour thinking about it. And here I am. It's uh, 11.24 a.m. here, so uh, there won't be any drinking of whiskey or carrying on. But I will try this with some, uh, I don't know what, a black diamond shatter that uh, I picked up. Uh, okay, so here it is. Uh, what you get in the package, apparently, it says right here, you get your uh, your mouthpiece, your airflow button. Well, I guess, yeah, it comes with it, doesn't it? <laughs> and you get atomizer tube, you got your coil cap, you got your quartz dual coil, and of course you got your base, because it's all about the base. Apparently this is um, number one brand, that's not the side, there it is, the number one brand in the USA. Made in China, of course. Uh, Shenzhen, I think everything is made in Shenzhen. Uh, I think it's a port town, and that's why they could get it on the boat real fast. Okay. Um, well, I'm babbling on. Let me mention that whole uh, subscribing thing, you know. Could you? Would you? You know, because uh, it counts. Every subscription counts. Uh and uh, if you play Golf Clash, which I got hooked on, look me up. Look me up. My uh, my clan of me is uh, London 420, oddly enough. And that's spelled uh, F-O-R-E, 420, the digits. How clever of me, eh? They wouldn't let me put in the... Four two zero. So, all right, what do we got here? Okay, so that would be the base. It doesn't. Uh, it. Uh, I'm pretty slow today. Well, that is some really good stuff. That. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So that's the base. There's a cartridge. I guess it gives you. Is it unscrew? cap unscrews it gives you an extra one so that's nice it's your basic dual coil and uh, there's that and there's the airflow button and uh, the mouthpiece unscrews for whatever reason I guess cleaning purposes and uh, so there that's simply there's that um I'm going to be using this. I can't even remember what this is called. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, it's, there it is right there. It's the Evic Supreme. This thing's like the handle of a lightsaber. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, they say to use this uh, between 15 and 25, I believe it said. Where is it? It's mud. No, whatever. Yeah. I, I can't. Read that because my eyes are bad. 5 to 20 watts. And I guess that's 20. 25. Whatever. That's at 20 something. That should that should work. So uh, let's get our base on. I know this isn't how one would normally do it. It would be all put together. Let's put our coil on. I'm doing it this way to see if that coil fires up. Yes, it's red. Oh, there you go. It's red, so that's working. Ah, go out. 
<laughs> Just see that? That was on for a long time. Well, I'm going to have to remember that when I'm using this to just tap the button. I guess it's got a, a delay on it. Now what do I want? Oh, I want this. A shout out to, to Source. They uh, extract, extract craft. They make the, uh, the Source for, for making your own oil, your own concentrate. Ooh, I'm running low. Oh, no. Come on out of there. Don't be such a... It's all gooey because I've been using a nectar collector for, I don't know, a couple weeks straight now. I have to look it up, see how long I've been using it. And I've been using that pretty much exclusively so that I could do a post-unboxing review on it. What was that? That was the headbanger. And man, I'm telling you, that headbanger... Even after the videos and stuff, I'm, I'm, it'll be my go-to. I mean, Nectar Collector, that's, that's the way to go. That is definitely the way to go. Okay, so now we got this, we got this. So, <laughs> what a bonehead. Okay, we know this coil works, but this is the one that's got the, the goodness in it. So, <laughs> let's hope it works, too. I, I imagine it would. And so that's that's just a basic seal. There's no uh, no screwing on. You just pop that on, and uh, it's a two-hander. All right. No, well, we know that it doesn't take long. Give it that. I'm getting an essence. I'm gonna have to back from the camera a minute and give this a good go. Oh, yeah. We're in some serious business there. That's about uh, eight inches or so. And it weighs, <laughs> weighs a lot. Well, that, uh, that worked. Let's try it again. Maybe what's that? A fluke. The first time. <laughs> Ah, no fluke there. It burns about as well as you would expect uh, <coughs> that type of coil. They got the newer C coils and Q coils. The Q coil, that's what comes in the uh, in the head banger. And it's, uh, and the loaded, I think. No, no, not the loaded. Uh, oh, it's this one. This one has a Q coil as well. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So, the, yeah, I can't, I can't remember how much these are, but they're, I know they're really inexpensive, probably because you got to get one of these as well. And this, this thing, this thing was like $169 on sale back in the day when that was a bargain. I was happy to get that. And then I used it five or six times. And it when, as you can see, I have a collection of of items this was for e-juice when i first got it i think or maybe it was for a thing similar to that actually yeah it was, i think it was for this oh reach way over here knock my camera wobble wobble i think it was for something like the like this for dry herb i haven't found a dry herb pen that i really like this uh explore it does okay on dry herb but it's a really really small chamber so you know, it's only good if you if you want a couple tokes. And uh, whoop, whoop, sorry, whoop, wobble, wobble. Let's see if I can steady that up because uh, we don't want anybody having any issues over perception. I don't know, some 70s thing. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, okay. Did I cover that? I guess I covered that. I covered that and a whole bunch of other shit that I really didn't mean to cover. So, uh, LVS, let's talk about them for a second. Uh, Adam down at LVS at the Oxbury Mall gives me stuff to talk about. And in exchange, I mention him. And it's a, it's a good shop. He's a good guy, honest. 
and uh, you can't go wrong. You know, you got you get your your vape juice down there, and you get all manner of uh, concentrate devices. He doesn't have much for dry herb. He's got bongs, but I mean, he doesn't have as far as portables. He doesn't have much for dry herb yet. But he's he's working on it. He's he he, he's, he was a vape shop. He was into e juice and stuff, and now he's expanding. And uh, he's finding some pretty good this stuff. This uh, Aris, these Aris products, uh, the Headbanger and the the Quasar, they're uh, they're really good. They're both good. They're both excellent. And the the Aris is only like twenty bucks. 20 bucks complete dog hair. You don't, that doesn't come with it. Is that dog hair or scratch? It's a dog hair. Everything's a dog hair here. Uh, yeah, 20 bucks. It holds a, it holds a good, good amount. The battery's strong. The, it's got the Q cell. The, the draw is clean and really nice. So, but this isn't about that. This is about this and this. And this is, uh, it's a decent unit. It's Yocan. I, you know, I haven't seen anything from Yocan that I was displeased with, except maybe the Explorer because of its limited ability to to uh, vapor. But as a concentrate device, it's excellent. And that's what I, frankly, that's all. I, I'm just concentrates now. I don't, I don't, can't remember the last time I smoked herb. Uh, probably when I tested the Explorer. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I see my camera's crooked. My dog's about to bark. And uh, and I pretty much said everything that I need to say and then some and more than you wanted to hear probably. So, uh, see ya.